Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here today to show you a new to me sewing machine. I do have a video up of some sewing machines that I do have in my possession. I have since acquired quite a few machines that are not in that video. So at some point, I do plan to update that video just so that I can give you uh, one video where I'm including all the sewing machines that I have. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll take the old video add it in and then just add the new machines after that so that they're all in one video in one place but stay tuned and i will show you what i got Okay guys, so I am here with my new to me machine. It's about three years, maybe four years old. I can't remember what the lady said, um, but she's had it and it's uh, just a little bit too complex for her and she doesn't want to work with it anymore and she's just looking for an embroidery only model. And so I've always wanted to work with other models other than Singer and Baby Lock. And so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do that. I actually purchased a used Bernina B770 Quilters Edition with the embroidery. So you can buy this machine without the embroidery. I was originally looking to get just a basic sewing machine from Bernina. But since this opportunity came up, I just decided to go ahead and get the Quilters Edition with the embroidery unit already uh, in the package deal. I have never worked with Bernina. I've been hearing great things about Bernina. I also have other companies that were recommended like Foff and Janome. So at some point I will probably get one of those machines, just a basic standard sewing machine. And I do also want to get an industrial machine just so that I can have different machines to say that I've at least test drove some of them. Um, this machine, <laughs> it has a lot of features on it. It has a lot of things that it can do embroidery wise that my baby lock cannot do. However, the baby lock series is a whole lot easier to control than this particular machine. So I'm looking forward to the challenge of working with the Bernina. Um, I do know one thing is that it's also has to be oiled a lot more frequently than my other sewing machines. It's almost like every, what, about four hours of sewing or so you might need to be oiling the bobbin area and i saw some videos where people were showing you different ways to bypass it and then like every two weeks or so uh, oiling it through the actual bobbin housing here so let me see if i can tilt you down the bobbin housing is here so it has that side loading instead of the top drop in so when you're embroidering and all of that you don't have to take everything off just to change a bobbin. So I do like that. It also has the extra large bobbin included in there as well. I have to learn everything about this. I haven't done anything with it other than just test drive it at the lady's house. Um, I am missing four items that she's going to mail to me. But I thought that I would just go ahead and tell you what I got. Show you what came with it and then we'll just go from there so i'm gonna go ahead and just turn this machine sideways just to make some room here so one of the first things i'm going to show you is the power cord you do have to make sure you remember to get the power cord and otherwise you will not be able to sew until you get one the other thing is the presser foot it's one of those programmable models does have a little crack in here 
but I do like that once you wind it around this disc in the back here then you just stick it in here so that it doesn't unravel I always just have a big mess sometimes I have a card minder on mine but they're mostly just a big mess one of my favorite tools is the knee lift and Bernina calls all of their things different names I'm going to call them <laughs> what I'm used to calling them but um, I think they call it something like free uh, hand arm or something like that I don't know what they call it but it's just a knee lift for me what's really nice with this model is that it does come with an extension table it is plastic and then I do like that it has the measurements here in I think centimeters up here and then inches down at the bottom yes so centimeters and then inches Uh, the lady also had some extra items that she couldn't use with her other Berninas in her stack. The Bernina comes with, I think, five bobbins, and, and they're the extra large. Let me show you these bobbins. So they are huge, just a huge bobbin. So it almost looked like it could be a long arm bobbin. So I like that because I'll run out of bobbin thread less faster. And... She had two extras of those. Some of them have thread on them and some of them do, do not. So I will definitely run the thread off of those because I'm always making scrap quilts. So that's no problem. Also, it has the Bernina Stitch Regulator, the BSR. Comes in its own tin. That's the instruction book. And then in here, you've got three different feet um that you can put on you got the open toe the regular free motion quilting foot and then you've got the plastic see-through foot It also comes with an accessory box, which I do like. I do like having my accessories right along here, you know, in the unit on the machine. And then sometimes I do not <laughs> because I can never get everything that I need in that box. So I do like that they have these bigger freestanding boxes. I like that it has these legs on, to, on the back so that they stand up. And... Also included are some of the actual feet. And I have gone ahead and put some standard needles in here. I just took out of my stash. This red one she gave me that whatever needle she had left she had not used yet. So those are in here. But I did add uh, three different packages of Smith's needles for the projects that I'll probably be doing. And... Uh, then it also, she it came with, I think, like four feet. Of one. Okay, so she had some extra feet, and I'm finding that a lot of these feet are just duplicate feet. But she couldn't use these on her machine at all, so I will go through here and take out all the duplicates. So I have a few feet that I want to purchase, and then they'll go in there instead. Um, it has a drawer unit here, and then it has the Bernina Flash so you can transfer designs to your machine. I just put one of these in here. It's just an empty needle case in case it's needed at retreats or when I'm out. This is the standard plate. I have the embroidery plate on the machine currently. This is what I call a hump jumper. They call it something else, <laughs> but that's what it is. This is a torque screwdriver so that you can get into particular places it opens up the head of the machine if i'm not mistaken and this is the one that you use for the uh, needle holder and then also some extra screw and i think the screw probably came on the patchwork foot i'm not really sure but it's in there when i find that out <laughs> and this is the button holder maker 
foot 3A that also came with the machine. Down in the bottom drawer has another large drawer. I've got uh, two of these. I also have one on the machine. I think she just added one. I've got the big thread spool holder, some machine oil. This model actually takes different oil. And then it's got a guide, like a seam guide here. Another one of those torque screwdrivers. Another hump jumper. I think she just added those in. And then this is foot number 97D, which is an open toe foot. It could be the patchwork foot too, 97D. It could be the patchwork foot. Um, I got two of the small spool holders and we're going to switch out because I need to get a medium instead of a small. So we're going to replace that. And then she had the basic seam ripper, small screwdriver, the Bernina. This is all came with Bernina little lint brush. This is also a pointer that goes with the machine so you don't have to touch the screen. And it actually sticks to the side of the machine, but I didn't want to put it out while I was traveling. And then just a few safety pins are thrown in here. And this box is what the embroidery foot uh, was in that's on the actual machine. So I will put all of this up and I will be right back. So I also have the instruction manual made to create Bernina, Bernina 770QE. And I think that's pretty cool. And they also have the embroidery instructions in here as well. And thinking of the embroidery instructions, <laughs> I also have the embroidery unit here and I'm going to move this just because I don't want it sitting here I'm working in a tight space here on the back of my long arm but this is very huge and I don't want it to fall off I do like also that you can use the embroidery arm while you're sewing you can just park it you don't have to take it off so then with the arm you're going to need hoops so that you can work with it and you have a small one that's mostly used for monograms. I don't hardly ever use this size hoop. I just don't waste my time with it. Um, it's just a waste of stabilizer for me to cut. So I tend to, if I'm going to do something small, I'll just go ahead and use a 4x4 four four hoop. Um, so this is about a 4x4 four four hoop. This one here is about a 6x10. And I think... Those are the three hoops that come with this machine. And then they also have a couple of hoop clips and templates for each size in here as well. And then you just these templates, when you actually want to center something in the hoop, you'll know exactly where the center is. It has a dot there. But then, you know, you can reuse these clips for any size mechanism and then I also have extra clips because she also had the maxi hoop which I'm going to guess and says like 8 by 12 maybe I did find it uh, weird that they didn't include this size with this base of a machine that they didn't just go ahead and include this size hoop or a larger hoop so it might be a little bit bigger than 14, might be something like 15. And then it has its own instruction manual in different languages. It's not that big. It's not that many pages. Let's see. So it's about 14 pages of instructions for the hoop. And I do like this hoop because this is one of those hoops that you just... Um, don't have to do all the turning and stuff and um, I really really like that a whole lot so I have figured out you just kind of turn this big knob which is very ergonomic and then it will click when it's in position so I like that very much so this is still in the box 
I don't think that the lady actually used this one. So also I got uh, a sewing cheat sheet telling you what the different uh, symbols are on the screen and also one for embroidery that was also included and I think she just left this instructions here that's nothing I don't even have that software and then you've got the Bernina accessories book which also came with the machine which is really nice because it tells you uh, what every foot is available and then tell you what it's used for even very short descriptions on how to use it not very in-depth she had this my Bernina embroidery workbook that she threw in I don't think that this came with the machine she may have gotten it from doing a class or something because it did not come with the machine and then also another my Bernina embroidery workbook that actually steps you through doing particular things to get experience with um, using this so very nice um, book here so I'll probably go through even though I've machine embroidered I'll probably go through and go through some of the things in the workbook just so that I can get familiar with where things are located in the Bernina side so while I'm thinking about it let me just go ahead and insert the things that I'm missing I it's four items and I don't even know if I can remember what the four items are but I know that I'm missing the cord the computer connect card where you can connect from your laptop or straight to the computer and I'm missing the medium size thread spool holder. I'm missing a video, uh, a DVD that has videos, instructional videos, as well as some design files included. And then the fourth thing that I'm missing is the actual cover that goes over the actual sewing machine. It's just a soft cover. And I really want that so that I don't have to, because I don't have a cover for a machine this size. And so I prefer to just go ahead and get that until I can get one made. As I said, I feel like Bernina um, methods for getting to the same end results is a little bit more complicated and tedious than need be. Especially compared to a baby lock system, which is what my friend is thinking about purchasing is a standalone embroidery machine from baby lock because they're just simpler to use but i'm looking forward to the challenge i'm looking forward to the additional features that are included in here and i'm willing to you know go on this journey and i'm looking forward to it so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye bye everybody Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.